The 2017 Warriors, led by Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, was the most efficient offense in the history of the NBA. But today, they'd be league average. Offense has been on a neck-breaking trajectory for years now. And the question is, what does this mean for the sport, and should anything be done about it? Well, first off, the scoring increase of today's NBA can be chalked up to a number of different factors. Offenses have just become better at scoring the ball. Emphasizing shots at the rim and behind the three-point line have made scoring more efficient, while also making players like DeMar DeRozan a dive breed. Another factor is a bigger talent pool with international players dominating the league. There truly is better competition than ever before. But there's also been a deliberate, systematic change over the years by Commissioner Adam Silver to deliver an optimized, dopamine-injected product tailored for the average consumer. But the concern of many is whether this high scoring and optimization is coming at the cost of the very essence of the sport. The NBA has admitted to wanting to cater the sport to the average fan, which I really don't have a problem with. At the end of the day, it is an entertainment business, and you have to keep the paying fans at the forefront of all business decisions. So they've done extensive research into what fans really want to see in order to get the most entertainment value for their money. And according to NBA Vice President Evan Walsh, the overwhelming response in all of that research is that fans like higher scoring, which is unsurprising and understandable. The main objective is to put the ball in the hoop more times than the other team. So of course, the more scoring, the better. But where the league has gone wrong is where those points are coming from. And it's escalating to the point where something needs to change. According to PBP stats, foul calls on two-point attempts have been on the rise since 2002 and peaking last year. All of this highlighting the underlining issue with today's NBA. You just can't play defense. The way the game is officiated today makes it extremely difficult to lock down the ball handler, especially on drives to the rim where offensive players are initiating contact. And the referees today are extremely extremely generous with continuation calls resulting in more free throws and more scoring. But not all scoring is created equal. Even though it counts the same on the stat sheet, this <laughs> is not the same as this. Counting out yeah. the, the second. I don't think he was the hold up that time. And I'll be the first to admit it, I also have a monkey brain and I like to see the ball go through the hoop from really far away and hear the fun swishy sound. And the average NBA fan prefers it too. From 2013 to 2018, the Golden State Warriors franchise value increased from 1.3 billion to 3.5 billion. And I bet you can guess what happened in that time span. Curry, way down to bang, bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! What I don't like is as Steve Kerr refers to it, parade to the free throw line, which unfortunately has become more and more of a problem and players have made it known. The single play that led me to lose my mind where the offensive player is parallel to the paint. They're not even veering toward the rim and then they veer into you at the last second. You know, Trey Young has done it a million times. So it's like if you're on a highway in a car in the middle lane just veers into your lane. In an effort to please the casual fan, the NBA has left us with a product like this. It's the constant stoppage in play just to watch these guys stand around and shoot free throws. It's the foul baiting, the lame and ones, and rendering half the sport completely meaningless. Basketball is played on two sides of the ball and there's entertainment value in both. Physical battles on the defensive end are extremely fun to watch. We see the defensive intensity ramp up in the playoffs with the refs allowing the players to go at it a little more and it's a completely different sport. Focusing solely on getting more points on the scoreboard or on a player's stat sheet is hurting the game and really not addressing the problem. I don't think this is what fans meant when they said they wanted more scoring, but recently we've seen signs that the NBA is taking notice. At the start of the season, scoring was continuing on the trend upward, and even the casual fans could see that with multiple 60 plus point performances within days of each other. But since then, a pretty major shift has happened. Since the All-Star break, the average score per game has gone down by about four points. The main difference being a decrease in free throws by about five attempts per game. Over the course of the last few months, it's been pretty obvious that the officials have focused their attention on swallowing the whistle. But for some reason, the league is chalking all of this up to a statistical anomaly over the past few weeks. But no one's buying it. Especially after Shams reported that earlier this year, the league's competition committee met to discuss ways to incorporate more defensive freedom for players when it comes to physicality, evaluating how to potentially allow more 
more of it. And although it's been publicly stated that these changes are meant to be implemented for next season, is it really that hard to believe that we're seeing some tweaks right now, especially as competition ramps up going into the playoffs? The NBA would be smart to make defense a bigger emphasis in the modern game, especially if it means less breaks in action and more intense battles on both sides of the ball. And I understand that the game is completely different than even 10 years ago. Just about every starting lineup in the NBA is going to spread the floor, requiring the defense to defend an open space like we've never seen. And that has allowed the freedom for these amazing athletes to make jaw-dropping plays every single night. But I think the product has potential to be even better. And part of that improvement is allowing the defenses to catch up to the modern age. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.